But then that raises the question of what it might be. We have had a crazy UFO alien week, and here are the two main events. So Mexico had a hearing on September 13th. The hearing was about aliens, and instead of doing like the U.S. does and just totes you along, they actually just said, we have proof. We will also take you through NASA's new Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena Report, which includes, among other things, how they are going to use AI to detect aliens and UFOs. Mexico's monumental exploration into UAPs? In a remarkable and historic stride, Mexico recently ventured into uncharted territory by hosting its premier congressional hearing on the phenomenon termed as Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena, UAP, popularly referred to as UFOs. At the helm of this significant endeavor was the esteemed journalist and fervent UFO researcher Jaime Maussan. As global enthusiasts and skeptics tuned in, Maussan presented two unparalleled artifacts, alleging them to be irrefutable proofs of life beyond Earth. These entities, notable for their tri-fingered extremities and stretched skull formations, defy categorization with any recognized terrestrial life forms. The origin of these mysterious specimens traces back to Peru's Nazca Lines, an archaeological wonder that has long captivated historians and sparked theories about ancient extraterrestrial visitations. If you want us to make a video on these fascinating lines and drawings in Peru, let us know down in the comments below. You can also leave a like if you find this video interesting so far. Delving deeper into the narrative, Mosan postulates that these entities are not recent arrivals. Lending credence to his claims, carbon dating techniques deployed by Mexico's revered National Autonomous University, UNAM, suggest that these relics have been ensconced on our planet for more than a thousand years. However, the allure of such a potentially paradigm-shifting disclosure warrants prudence. Archival data and past explorations intimate that seemingly otherworldly remains turned out to be mummified juveniles. Given this precedent, there's a pressing need for these unearthed specimens to be subjected to an exhaustive and meticulous scientific analysis. Only an in-depth examination can either validate or debunk such a monumental proclamation. This trailblazing initiative positions Mexico at the forefront of the global discourse surrounding UFOs and the tantalizing prospect of extraterrestrial beings. As the global community keenly anticipates corroborative studies, this momentous disclosure underscores the imperative of maintaining a balance between enthusiasm and methodological scrutiny. Only by merging an open mind with rigorous science can humanity hope to unravel the intricate enigmas of our boundless universe. The Verdict from Scientific Analysis The enigmatic specimens once presented naturally beckoned for rigorous scientific analysis. It was of utmost importance to validate their origins and nature using advanced techniques. Taking the lead in this investigative quest was none other than the director of the Scientific Institute for Health of the Mexican Navy, José de Jesús Zalche Benítez. Benítez and his team employed a multi-pronged approach to dissect the mystery of these beings. The artifacts underwent a series of tests, including X-rays, which provided insights into their skeletal structure. The results from these X-rays were nothing short of fascinating revealing anatomical structures that didn't neatly fit any known earthly organism's blueprint. Following the X-rays, 3D reconstructions were executed, offering a more comprehensive visualization of these beings. This allowed researchers to delve deeper into the intricacies of the specimens, understanding their potential physiology and form in more tangible terms. The detailed reconstructions brought to light features that were distinctly non-human, further deepening the enigma. However, Perhaps the most anticipated aspect of the analysis was the DNA testing. DNA, as we understand it, holds the secrets of life, lineage, and evolution. Benitez's assertion post the testing was unequivocal. These entities had no genetic linkage to humans. Such a bold declaration naturally adds a more profound layer to the debate on extraterrestrial life and its potential intersections with our planet's history. Yet, in the world of science, Multiple perspectives are not only welcomed, but necessary for a holistic understanding. The National Autonomous University of Mexico, UNAM, having played a role in determining the age of these artifacts, chose a more conservative stance. They were quick to clarify that while their tests ascertained the age of the samples, they did not venture into the territory of their origins. In clear terms, UNAM asserted that their role was strictly limited to dating, 
steering clear from making any pronouncements on the specimen's extraterrestrial or earthly origins. Global Response and the Path Forward The Mexican UAP hearing echoed far beyond the country's borders, drawing international attention and participation. A notable contributor from outside Mexico was Ryan Graves, an ex-U.S. Navy pilot. Graves brought a unique perspective, illuminating the personal challenges and societal stigmas attached to reporting UAP encounters. His testimony underscored a broader, often overlooked issue, the reluctance and apprehensions many feel in bringing such encounters to light, despite their potential global significance. We have also made a video about his encounters. The link is in the description. Congressman Sergio Gutierrez saw this event as a pivotal moment for Mexico. He voiced optimism that such open discussions marked the beginning of a more transparent, extensive, and informed dialogue about UAPs in the nation. His sentiments resonated with a larger global shift in the UFO narrative, suggesting that countries are now more open to tackling the UAP phenomenon head-on. This change in stance isn't exclusive to Mexico. The U.S., historically known for its evasiveness on UFO topics, has demonstrated a marked transition. No longer restricted to hushed conversations or relegated to conspiracy theories, the U.S. government has adopted a proactive approach. Military aviators' reports on UAP sightings are actively investigated, indicating a significant shift in official policy. The anticipation isn't limited to governmental initiatives. NASA, the world's premier space agency, has also formed an independent panel to probe into UFO phenomena. Yet, as with any groundbreaking disclosure, the road isn't devoid of skeptics. Mossan's audacious presentation, while capturing imaginations, also faced its share of criticism. Doubts about the artifact's authenticity arose, emphasizing the critical need for rigorous scientific validation. Critics highlighted the absence of a detailed scientific paper, suggesting that for such monumental claims to be accepted, they must be anchored in indisputable, peer-reviewed research. As the world watches, the call for evidence-based methodical exploration grows louder, setting the stage for future UAP investigations. That was an update on the hearing of the alien found in Mexico. Unlike the US, Mexico actually has physical evidence, and we will update you as soon as we have new info on this hearing and the path forward. Now, let's jump into the most exciting points in the release of NASA's Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena Report. NASA's comprehensive take on UAPs, moving beyond speculation. In an endeavor to demystify the age-old enigma surrounding unidentified anomalous phenomena, UAP, commonly referred to as UFOs, NASA, the preeminent space exploration authority, has made its preliminary findings public. This exhaustive research, anticipated by many, reveals that these phenomena don't seem to have origins beyond our planet. However, in a testament to the complexity of the subject, NASA isn't halting its quest here. The agency is intensifying its focus by establishing a dedicated UAP research directorate. Shedding light on this intriguing topic, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson clarified the report's conclusions. While the study negates any immediate extraterrestrial linkage to UAP sightings, the precise nature of these phenomena remains cloaked in uncertainty. Such ambiguity underscores the importance of continued research and a comprehensive approach to discern their origins. Amidst evolving global conversations around UAPs, terminology too has seen a shift. The U.S. Department of Defense has ushered in a broader definition, moving from the traditional UFO to UAP. This new terminology isn't restricted merely to unidentified objects in our skies. It encompasses anomalies that might be found underwater, in space, or transitioning between these domains. This rebranding signifies a more holistic understanding, reflecting the myriad of unexplained phenomena that could exist beyond just flying objects. In essence, while NASA's report might not offer conclusive extraterrestrial revelations, it indeed advances the conversation. The agency's reinforced commitment, combined with the establishment of specialized research entities, underlines the urgency and importance of understanding UAPs. By doing so, NASA continues its legacy of leading frontiers of exploration, even when the mysteries lie closer to home. Navigating the UAP Enigma the Complexities and NASA's Forward-Thinking Approach The allure of UFOs, or UAPs, has consistently held a global grip. 
However, unraveling their mysteries through scientific lenses poses significant challenges. These phenomena are inherently elusive. Their sporadic and transient nature often leaves behind scant and fragmented data, complicating any structured scientific exploration. During a press interaction, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson confronted these impediments head-on. He illustrated the conundrum of sporadic UAP sightings resulting in minimal data, thereby impeding definitive scientific conclusions. Yet, in the face of these complexities, Nelson's discourse wasn't of resignation, but of resolution. He emphasized NASA's unwavering commitment to channel its vast resources, both in expertise and technology, to delve into the UAP enigma with renewed vigor. Key figures at NASA resonate with this determination. The prevailing challenge they emphasize isn't the absence of UAP sightings or accounts, but the lack of clear, consistent, and actionable data. Addressing this data deficit is pivotal for any substantive progress in the UAP realm. And NASA's proposed approach is both multifaceted and collaborative. The report advocates a proactive strategy. For starters, tapping into NASA's Earth Observation Satellite Arsenal could be a game changer providing enhanced data and potential evidence related to UAP occurrences. Furthermore, interagency collaborations, particularly with the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, could synergize data collection efforts, ensuring a more holistic and richer data set. But the agency isn't stopping there. Recognizing the sheer volume and complexity of data at hand, NASA is also looking to embrace the power of artificial intelligence, AI. AI's prowess in processing vast data sets and discerning underlying patterns could prove invaluable. By deploying AI, NASA aims to detect subtle nuances and trends, potentially unlocking more insights about these perplexing phenomena. In sum, while the path to understanding UAPs is strewn with challenges, NASA's forward-thinking approach, fortified by collaboration and technology, offers a beacon of hope in this age-old quest. UAPs in Modern Discourse, From Margins to Mainstream Investigation The narrative around UFOs, now termed UAPs, has witnessed a notable transformation. Once relegated to the peripheries of discourse, UAPs are now commanding mainstream attention. Fueling this shift are startling testimonies from seasoned military personnel and intelligence officers who've shared their unexplained encounters with these enigmatic phenomena. Many military aviators have taken their experiences public, describing objects with bewildering aerodynamics and movements beyond conventional understanding. Amidst this backdrop, more audacious claims have emerged. There are whispers about the U.S. government possessing tangible evidence of crashed UAP, and even assertions about encounters with non-human intelligence. These explosive claims, albeit lacking concrete evidence, have not fallen on deaf ears. They've stirred significant interest within legislative corridors, leading to formal congressional investigations and testimonies. However, amidst the fervor and intrigue, authoritative voices seek to ground the conversation. Notably, the Pentagon's specialized unit, the All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, AARO, has provided a sobering perspective. Their stance is clear. There exists no irrefutable evidence as of now. To associate UAPs with extraterrestrial entities or phenomena defying our understanding of physics. Yet the discourse's evolution underscores a broader societal shift. With NASA entering the fray, the aim is clear, to elevate UAP research beyond mere sensationalism. The space agency's involvement serves as a clarion call to approach the topic with scientific rigor, hoping to dismantle long-standing taboos. In this era marked by data-driven exploration, the journey to demystify UAPs aligns perfectly with our collective pursuit of knowledge and understanding. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this information valuable, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more content and click the notification bell to stay updated. Your support means the world to us. See you in the next video.